Hey guys, it's Thursday. <laughs> Technically, it is Friday, 2 o'clock in the morning, but it's still Thursday until I go to sleep and wake up tomorrow morning. Uh, anyway, I woke up really early this morning, 8 o'clock. I know it's not really early. It's early for me. I've been getting up at like 1 in the afternoon for the past two weeks, so it was pretty early. Uh, so we went to handbell practice, went to lunch, came home, it's on my laptop, it's on Tumblr, it's on Tumblr again, <laughs> then I watched, um, three movies, uh, The Prince of Egypt, good for a laugh. I mean, it's about uh, the book of Exodus, uh, Moses, and that story. Eh. I know the story. I mean, I am, I'm Christian. I know the story. But, I mean, that movie is kind of... I don't know. I don't really know how to uh, explain it. I, mm, eh. Anyways, the next movie I watched was Midnight Express. Now that is based on a true story. Um, I don't know if it's exactly graphic, per se, but it's really long. And even though it was... I don't know, I didn't check how long it was, but it seemed like it was really long. Um... But a guy who uh, gets arrested trying to smuggle hash out of Turkey back in uh, 1970. And he's in the Turkish prison for five years, I think, before he um, escapes, escapes back to... Uh, crosses the border into Greece and gets back to the U.S. Uh, he wrote a... the guy, the actual guy who, uh, was in the jail, uh, wrote a book and that's why they made the movie. And he's also writing another book. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Ugh! Anyway, the movie is Midnight Express. Go watch it. It's a wake-up call, I guess? Because, I mean, there are still prisons around nowadays that are still that bad. I mean, I know there are five-star prisons, but there's a few in Korea that are just completely terrible and just... Ugh. Anyways, and then I watched um, The Infiltrator. I think that or the Exile Trader. I... Oh, God. I need to look at this stuff before I vlog, you know? Or not be up in my room, because I have to run downstairs to go look at the DVD holder thing. Um, that movie stars Oliver Platt and a bunch of German actors. Um... Also, uh, the guy who plays, um, Lightoller in Titanic is in, uh, the movie, too. And that's based on a true story as well. About, uh, the German, um, uh, attack, the Germans attacking, um, race. It's a very, um, controversial, racy, well, I, I don't know if it's exactly controversial, but, uh, it deals with, the um, Nazis trying, fascism, that's what it, yeah, fascism, yes. <sighs> oh, God, I cannot, I'm doing pretty well so far, I think, um, I don't know about that movie very much. It was only an hour and a half, 
so it was short, but it seemed like it went on forever. <sighs> but <sighs> then I listened to the Tigers win ten to six, right against Oakland. It was amazing. And while I was watching a movie, the movie, my dad was telling me the the plays of them, and was it in the third? It must have been in the third, about them getting all those points, all those runs. And I'm like, shut up, I'm trying to watch a movie. I'm gra very glad that the Tigers are doing well, but I'm trying to watch a movie. <laughs> Please. <laughs> But once the movie was done, I was listening to the Tigers game and on Tumblr and oh, Toby Turner Tabuskis um, uploaded his uh, dramatic song. I think so. It's called, if I remember correctly. I love it so much. He looks so hot in it. So I just whoa. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting into Morgana fan fiction, which is uh, part of the uh, Merlin fandom. Merlin slash Morgana. I'm just introducing myself to this fandom right now, so that's why I'm just a little bit behind on the uh, fandom name. But I got it. I got it. Oh, and I read a bunch of Mercer today, too. Okay. I'm going to go read and then work on my story, which is 27 pages now. 17,000 plus words. Oh, my gosh. I'm hoping to turn it into, like, a 200-page novel. But I would like it to have 200,000 words. Maybe. More. More. Definitely more. Shooting for as much as possible. <laughs> This is the longest, most creativest story I've ever created. Most of my, most of the stories I write are like short, little, romantic, cheesy stories, short stories. So this is going to be my baby, and I'm going to love it to death. And I'll be so happy once I get it published, if I ever get it published. <laughs> if I finish it, I gotta finish it first. <sighs> Alright. It's definitely past time I said goodbye, good night, and that I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>